What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're setting up another toy show. We'll be hitting the Woodbridge Toy Show at the Hampton Inn in Woodbridge, New Jersey. We'll be set up with a ton of Funko Pops. There's other Funko vendors, TCG vendors, action figures, Hot Wheels, you name it. You'll find it at the show. It's once a month, so check our YouTube, check our Instagram for the schedule of when it's happening. If you're ever in the area, definitely stop by and check it out. But why don't you come on inside and let's see what other vendors have to offer. All right, so walking into the toy show, you see it's held in a hotel, the Hampton Inn in Woodbridge, New Jersey. It's once a month. They always have a lot of Pop and Funko vendors. They have multiple rooms. There's two down the hallway to the left, and then the main room right over here to the right starts off with some Hot Wheels, but right away you can see Funko vendors to the left and right, and then into the main room we go, which is where we really get this toy show started. And you can see all the vendors lined up and ready to sell their products. So come on and let's see what we can find. So the first booth we're going to stop at is actually our booth set up over here. We got most of our two packs and bigger pops like this alternate universe, Fry and Leela. A couple one piece con sticker posters. The Smog Chase and Common. A Beast Titan from Hot Topic. You see that two pack Daggett Norbert, that beautiful nine inch Mickey Mouse and the 10 inch Ghost Face. Ratchet and Clank PlayStation Pop and two pack Scooby and Shaggy. Coming over to the main section of the booth, we have some bangers. The original dodgeball set, the Teletubby set, and the full original Kiss set, which is definitely hard to find nowadays. Some Sesame Street, South Park, and a nice selection of the boys here, which have been super popular now that the show is back. Scooby and Yogi Bear Funko Shop, uh, some more anime, and then the Grail Wall, which has a lot of heat. Had Purple Ray Gun Freddy, Golden SpongeBob, Dark Knight NFTs, and the Bank Robert Joker, original Ozzy Osbourne, Pink 2000 piece Marvin the Martian from the San Diego Comic Con Saturday Morning Cartoons Pop Up Shop, some more anime, and then the beautiful 2013 1008 piece Metallic Leonardo from San Diego Comic Con, and the 2011 SDCC. 480 piece metallic Frankenberry, some Green Ranger pops, a nice selection of Doctor Who pops, which are getting more rare nowadays, an original Roger Rabbit, some Destiny pops, Fallout pops being popular since the new hit TV show came out, some Star Wars Rebels, and some FNAF with this black light and non black light cupcake, some Teen Titans Go. Uh, over here, we see some Sailor Moon, some more anime, and this brand new Gear 5 Luffy laughing from GameStop. Much better than the original, I think. But speaking of the original, we have the Gear 5 Luffy chase signed, a Post Malone signed, and then on top of them, we have a Nothing Happened Zoro signed, next to some Freddy's and a Franny from C2E2. Coming over to this next booth, you see they have a large selection of figures and Funko Pops. You can see they have the full and sync set down there, a Night King, a Hansel from Zoolander, uh, right next to a newer Hannibal Pop. Uh, coming over to the next section of the booth, uh, they have this Elroy Jetson. Definitely love those older Cartoon Network Pops. Those are always fun to find. But down here is a real diamond in the rough that I come across. This RV Walker from The Walking Dead, but not just anyone. It is the Gemini Exclusives Bloody variant. Uh, so that's definitely a hard find. I had to pick that one up. Uh, looking over here with some Brady Bunch, Machine Gun Kelly, Jabberwockies, a Judge Smalls. Just a, a large selection here at this booth. Our next booth here is our good friend NJ Devil. And he always brings the heat. You do not want to miss what he has at this booth. You can see he's got some autographs on the right side of his table. This Goldie Roger Wanner poster. But look at these beauties. The 480-piece glow-in-the-dark Mike Wazowski Chase. Freddy Funko as Buzz Lightyear. Freddy Funko as Boba Fett. And this Freddy Funko as, I believe that's Raphael. Four huge bangers right off the rip. Crazy pieces to see at a toy show. Moving over, you see some more Freddies. A couple more autographs. This Freddy Funko as Genie that is graded by PSA. A Freddy Funko as Sting, also graded by PSA. You got Dale from Step Brothers. A glow in the dark Ahsoka. Some Blacklight Five Nights at Freddy's. A couple more autographs down here at the bottom. An autographed Fluffy. Some Power Ranger Pops couple Space Jam, and right here, one of my faves, this White Walker Conan, which I actually purchased from him a while ago. Looks like he got another one in. A flocked Bigfoot. Coming up over here, we see that Blacklight Spider-Man, a Stonekeeper, some One Piece Pops, this awesome Bee Rabbit from 8 Mile, some Dragon Ball Z Pops. Down on the bottom, you can see he's got some Pokemon. 
this He-Man pop over here, and then back over onto the Grail wall, you can see some other huge bangers. This Beerus, the SDCC Loki, the SDCC Metallic V for Vendetta, signed Lord of the Rings, the Indiana Jones Disney Parks exclusives, just some crazy, crazy pieces here at Engine Devil. Now, coming outside of the main room, we stopped at our good friend AIC Collectibles, who always have a nice selection of pops for you guys to choose from. You can see they have that ECCC Captain America, one of my favorite Freddy molds, Freddy Funko as Megazord, the royalty, a Freddy Funko as Devil, and some really nice side-of-the-box artwork. So if you're into that type of stuff, AIC always has that on hand. A Jesse Pinkman coming over here, a Child Big Mom Chase from One Piece, the Hex Girls from Scooby-Doo, and one of my favorite Muppets Pops, Sam the Eagle. That is a great one. The Counts from Sesame Street, a Buggy the Clown Hot Topic exclusive, some NYCC booth mascots, a Stitch as Baker, and some Inside Out 2 Pops, Embarrassment and Ennui. Coming back over to this side, we see this Barney Rubble NFT, a Proto the Dog from C2E2, Carnage and Spider-Man Blacklight, a classic Loki, a Red Hulk Chase, which might be popular now with Red Hulk being introduced into the MCU, but just overall a really good selection over here at AIC Collectibles. And right behind ASE Collectibles, we came across another Funko booth here. You can see they have this awesome Mike Wazowski and the Golden Bender from 2015 SDCC. A couple of their horror pops, a nice selection of Stitch pops. But this is awesome. This plan collect glow-in-the-dark Batman that comes with the Lego Batman set. This is the Wii version. I just bought the DS version last week, so awesome to see that. Some more of their anime pops. A shared sticker Tony Stark from C2E2. Uh, you can see some more Freddies, at the Glow in the Dark Green Ranger Freddy, and the Freddy Mad Hatter Glow in the Dark from last year's At Home Fun Days box, the Chase Green Goblin, a shared sticker Shanks poster, just a nice selection from this booth. Uh, and it's my first time seeing them at the show, so I hope they definitely make some more trips out here. So here we're over in one of the side rooms, which is usually where we're located, but we moved into the main room for this show. But you could always find some good stuff in these side rooms, like this PlayStation exclusive Joel from The Last of Us Pop, a couple of anime pops at Peter Parker and the new release Spongebob pops. Some art series pops. A couple autographs. And then down over here we see the new released Wizard of Oz pops with Glinda, the Witch, and Dorothy. So definitely when you come to the Woodbridge Tour Show, don't forget to check out the side rooms because you can definitely find a couple good finds that are not in the main room. Making our way back to the main room, we went to the back of the room. You can see this other vendor here. He's got a bunch of Luffy and Foxy two-packs from Hot Topic, a bunch of Funko sodas. Then over here is the main part of their booth, and they definitely had some nice things. Over here, you can see this Toys R Us exclusive red jersey Tom Brady, right above a GameStop red jersey Rob Gronkowski, and up top is that gold Webley and a social media Freddy. Really nice to see. Over here, he's got some more commons down at the bottom, but up here, I'm going to pull down for you guys to get a closer look at, but he's got that brand new Captain America Upper Deck Redemption pop. I actually think they did a really good job with this pop. I like the chase. I like the glow on it, this being the common. I'm hoping I can get the chase that comes in the mail when I get it, but overall, I think that's a great pop and really nice to see out at these shows. He's got a Freddy Bone signed by, it looks like, Mike Becker, a couple SpongeBob pops, some Pokemon. Uh, he's got a... Patrick from Spongebob as well. Over here you can see Eamon from House of the Dragon. Caesar Clown. Mihawk from One Piece. Coming over here he's got a prototype as Bugs Bunny as Fred Jones. You don't see those often so that's really nice to see. But uh, overall this booth definitely didn't disappoint. So if you come out to the Woodbridge Store Show again back of the main room. This one's awesome. And our last booth of the day is our good friend none other than Pastrama Woods Pops who always has solid deals at his table, just like this right here. This entire wall of pops, anything you pick out, $10. And he's got some nice stuff here. You can see he's got that Christmas sweater for Eddie Funko, Black Light Gambit, the do-it-yourself soccer fray from the Funko Shop, Funko Shop exclusive Armored Chopper, Armored Luffy. Just a nice selection of pops for $10. You really, really can't beat that. And moving over here to his more expensive area, he's got an entire table full of chases, uh, from all different categories, a Mihawk Funko Shop exclusive, Arrested Development, and two Kurt Cobains, the Hot Topic version and the Smells Like Teen Spirit version. Coming on over here, we zoom in on the Jay and Silent Bob and the Glow in the Dark Crow. He's got the Diggum Freddy, the Freddy Funko from My Little Pony, Porky Pig is Robin, and then up top this beautiful Glow in the Dark Freddy Funko Zombie Ninja from Funko Ween next to a Red Eyes Homelander. Really nice to see those. 
all these convention exclusive Stanleys. It looks like he has every single one, and that does not shock me for the guy he is. And then my favorite being right here, the Stanley with a New York Comic Con t-shirt on. Definitely going to have to add that to my collection one day. But he's always has the good, some old stuff, just like right here, this 2D from Yo Gabba Gabba, just Pastrama with Pops, always bringing out the fire at these shows. All right, so we're back from the Woodbridge Toy Show. Overall, a very solid show. Lots of great Funko vendors there. So many different pops to choose from. We did really well vending. Um, so definitely, if you're in the area, check out the Woodbridge Toy Show. We always post on our Instagram when it's going to be. They post on theirs as well. It's once a month on a Saturday or Sunday. They also do card shows there. So just overall, great experience, and they'll, you'll always be able to find something you need. Uh, and speaking of that, I did not leave empty-handed. I did pick up one thing from my personal collection. And that is this gorgeous, glow-in-the-dark, Freddy Funko as Zombie Ninja NFT release from the Funko Ween series. Uh, I love this pop. I have a couple in the series already. I did not have this one, so I needed to pick it up. And I was able to get it for a great price from Pastramo's Pops. I'll throw up a glow pick uh, so you guys can take a look at what it looks like with the glow. But uh, definitely, definitely needed this one. Glad I was able to pick it up. So again, if you guys are ever in the area, definitely check out the Woodbridge Toy Show. Um, but that's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future videos like this. And uh, as always, thanks for watching.